Hello, welcome to another Leetco JavaScript challenge. Today we have filter element from array. In this particular example, we are given a array of elements and a filter function. As we have seen in previous video, a function can be directly passed into other functions. This is called callback. So we are given both of them. So now we have to return a new array which contains either equal number of elements or smaller number of elements where the function applied in such a way should return true value. What does that mean? So simply we will take an element of an array and then call the function with something like um, array of i like three comma the index of that element it should return true or false. So this is how it should work. The for example let's take first uh, first example uh, arr is 0, 10, 20 and 30. Your function is something like this fn should be something like uh, it will only return true if n is greater than 10. So ideally it should return true for 20 and 30. So our array the return array should only contains 20 and 30. Similarly goes for arr 1, 2, 3. If it's i equals to 0 only then the function only will return true. So i equals to 0 will be on, uh, only in the case of first index i is the second parameter here right so only the first one should return should be returned from the array as simple as that so we will try to see how, how we can do we will have two three approaches to do this function so let's understand uh, first how should we approach a problem right so here we are uh, the question is asking us to return an array right so let's de start declaring an array and return it starting now as you see we have to iterate over the array so let's declare a for loop right to iterate over the array the index should be i equals to 0 and it will it will go till area of length right after that our job is to uh, return or push element inside an array only if it satisfies our condition so we will take that array element and its index and pass it to this function as said this function will accept two arguments arri and a and the second is the index of that element right now if it satisfies we will just push the current element into the array and uh, this is all we need in the last we will just return the new array here that's it it should work totally fine if, if we run it yes if we run it it should be accepted let's see uh, what other methods can be done uh, in the question mentioned that we cannot we should not be using uh, array.filter but let's see how it can be done with array.filter since we have already seen the of uh, the basic way of doing it okay so this is how uh, this is how the array filter works um, array array filter is again a special functions on array of javascript so it will return the it will return a new array it will return a new array uh, uh, by doing the search uh, doing a certain operation it accepts a callback where the first argument is the first element of the array something really uh, like this and the second is the index so we can directly pass it um, a function right and it will return the whole thing will return the element only if this satisfies the condition something exactly what we have written here so this for loop will be done by filter method and uh, this condition this condition you are seeing here uh, is something here uh, something that goes here so only if this function is returning true only then the array element will be pushed in, inside the new array and a new array will be returned from this this hole and we can simply return it back to the main function the whole thing can also be done by simply using uh, map or for each again these are two functions map and for each are two functions provided by uh, javascript to iterate over the array instead of using for loop we prefer using for each functions there are certain differences which i'll cover in my next videos but uh, but you can use any of them it's totally fine uh, javascript developer usually prefer map and for each right so what does this give this gives an, this gives another uh, same signature sort of thing it will give the current element and its index so while iterating we just have to check we have to uh, again do the same thing what we have done on line number 10 we will check if the callback function whatever we are getting as a function satisfy our need if it satisfies we will be just pushing the uh, the element into the array here we do not have to do something like uh, x of i because uh, sorry x of i because uh, th this particular element is uh, again having holding the value of the element itself it's not we have to do x of i so this is how the question can be done i will uh, share more details about map filter and reduce and other array method in some 
later videos so if you are interested in that please follow along and subscribe for more thank you